So when I first started going to therapy, it was like within the first month of seeing her, I remember telling her a story about how different the experience of going to a party versus going to my room was. When I went to a party, I loved who I was. And when I went to my room, I felt nothing. I didn't know who I was. So that was four years ago. And now today, I work from home. I have a dog. I talk to my dog a lot. I spend more time with my dog than anyone else. And I've realized I just want to spend more and more time at home. And it's kind of freaked me out over the past year because I have always identified as an extrovert. I made a Buzzfeed video about how I was an extrovert and my best friend was an introvert. And I'm scared to tell people that I feel like an introvert because I just don't think they'll believe me. Because it's not that I don't know how to be an extrovert. It's that I just don't need to be anymore. So back to the like party versus me in my room example. I would go to a party and I loved going to parties because it was fun, I met new people. And the feelings I felt were, I felt seen, I felt valued and I felt loved because I was funny and I was good at talking to people and I was good at meeting new people. I was good at including the wallflowers. I was good at disarming people and finding a common denominator for a group of people to bond over in a conversation of like six people. But then I would go home and this is like when I was like peak depression, I would just go to my room and I hated going to my room because there I felt worse than nothing. I felt empty. I felt like I wasn't even alive sometimes. Like I would just sit on my bed and I would know I should take off my makeup. I would know I should brush my teeth. I would know I should change into clothes and like go to bed. But I just couldn't get the will to move because it required me to move just to help myself, just to do something kind to myself. So like what's changed since then? since those times when I would go to parties and love it and go to my room and hate it. Cause now I love going to my room alone. I love being home alone. The thing that has changed is when I am alone, I now feel things like understanding and compassion and just a general affinity for the person I'm with, which is me. Whereas when I used to be alone, I just felt criticism and frustration and disappointment and just feelings that in general made me want to cry because I was never good enough when I was alone. And now when I'm alone, I feel enough. I'd be lying if I said this past year hasn't kind of triggered feelings of like an identity crisis because I feel different. I'm changing. My behavior is changing and that makes me scared because I still love other people. I still love my friends, but I just don't have the same need to be outside my house. So there's less time for me to see all those people. And so I'm worried about disappointing them. So it's very interesting the kind of things that can happen and change when you start to invest in self-care. And this was something that I did not anticipate but I am happy about it and it's made writing much easier. It's so funny that like, why would an extrovert even tr choose to be a writer? Cause it's such a monastic solitary thing, but maybe I always was an introvert, but I just didn't know it. Or I was just in denial of that part of me that could love myself and be happy being alone. Of course, I'm not saying like, all extroverts are hiding the fact that they hate themselves. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying for me, pretending to be as extroverted as I was and kind of playing that role and living in that mask was a coping mechanism for me. It was the only way I knew how to feel self-love. I think it's just that when you start to truly self-love, it can have side effects you don't anticipate and it's a new challenge because I then have to continue to love myself even when I'm not fitting the parameters of who I think I am or who I think I should be. Like I'm, I should want to go to every 
birthday party, every event, every barbecue. I, I should want to because I used to, and that's who I was, and that's who I promised all my friends I'd be. But I think we do ourselves a big disservice if we don't see ourselves as living, changing things, and that the definition of living, I believe, is, is something that can change and grow and evolve. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I would love to hear about anyone else's experience with this. Like, have you gone from being an introvert and now you're more extroverted? Or you were an extrovert and now you're more introverted? Or now it like flips back and forth and like you're both? I, I just would love to know other people's experiences. So please share your stories below. I will love to read them. Sally! Sally, come here! Sally! Sally! Sally, come here! Here she comes. Sally! 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 Come here, baby! Come here, baby! Sally, come here! Come here! Oh, sorry, I bumped your nose. Hi! Oh, look at the camera, Sally. Oh, she's sniffing the microphone. Hi, baby! Hi, pretty! Oh, you're pretty! I estimate that I tell her she's pretty about 112 times a day. She loves it though, she never gets tired of it. Right, Sally? Sally? Yeah, she's not coming.